people running a little bit late here but uh still okay microphone is in place the game is loaded the amiga is up and running the game is ready the stream title is correct all of these things sort of need to be in order i have my t my headset is firmly on my head and i'm ready to go we uh spent most of last stream relatively stuck but uh we did make some progress we uh Thanks for the follow, Harold. Welcome in. We did make some progress last stream. We, uh, among other things, we discovered that uh, we were soft locked with the plant, and uh, we sort of know what to do. We just don't know uh, quite how to do it at this point. Hey there, welcome in. So, uh, we do need, know that uh, we need to water the plant upstairs to make it grow so we can reach the hatch in the ceiling and uh, we know that uh, giving it the Pepsi is not the correct option so that just makes it burp and uh, we know giving it regular water doesn't work either hey there Walter Little, welcome in Congrats on the sub again. Yeah, this is my first playthrough of this game and uh, the fourth stream in this series. So, uh, I should probably add that to the title here. What I was thinking of trying, we've already tried the uh, water in the kitchen and we've tried microwaving the water. We've tried the water in the sink upstairs. What we have perhaps not done is use the water from the pool. As I often do uh, between streams. Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is an Amiga 4000 tower. from uh, one of the Amiga Technologies ones uh, with an 060 and uh, all sorts of goodies in it CC9000 with a uh, with a uh, scan tablet on it and uh, SCSI 2SD there at the top so it's, a, it's a fairly beefy Amiga 4000 contains most of the bits from my desktop Amiga 4000 and this tower as well. I bought this tower recently. My desktop 4000 is broken. It has some sort of keyboard repeat issue. I haven't been able to solve. Now where's our bottle jar of water is here. Can we Probably need to empty the jar somehow. Make sure that it isn't. Might use the sponge for that purpose. Now it's just a glass jar. Yeah, there are a few of us. Uh, there is a slightly different feeling to. Uh, we're using the uh, original hardware to stream these games. I've had an Amiga since 91, so uh, I do enjoy using the original hardware. Let me set up some background music here. There's uh, not really much in the way of music in this game.
thanks for the uh, for the sub at all. Enjoy your uh, your emotes and your art reviewing. Welcome to the sub club. I appreciate that very much. Now where's my background music? There it is. Yeah, welcome to the sub club. Gianna Sisters, yeah, that's a that's a that's a good game. We mostly uh, focus on the adventure and uh, role playing stuff here. We uh we have a K6 300 PC that we use on on Fridays and Saturdays to play those games. On Saturdays we tend to play uh, Might and Magic, so. Uh, we're on game 4 and 5 there now, and uh, on Fridays we're playing uh, Betrayal at Krontor on the same machine. So I do tend to uh, I try to stay on the original retro hardware as much as I can. Now the idea behind using the water in the pool is basically the same idea that I tried by... Uh, Picking up some of the radioactive ooze, both in the basement and down there, I also thought of maybe using the furnace. And, uh, and, uh, I'm not sure this actually works because it still just says jar of water, it doesn't say jar of radioactive water, but uh, perhaps it works differently now. And it did. The thing with this plant is that uh, this is basically a soft lock. If you screw this up, uh, you can't return to it. So after you give it water, you can't give it any other liquid ever again. So if it isn't the correct liquid, then basically you're screwed and you need to get back to your earlier save. Yeah, that worked way differently. Now it's very tall. It's much taller than it was when we fed it the regular water and now it's seemingly tall enough that we could use it to climb, but uh, do we need to so make another save here? Because there's probably another step that we need to take here. Do we now give it a kind of Pepsi to make it stop fidgeting? Yeah. Yeah. That's how we get to the hatch. Okay, it only took my brain a week to solve that little puzzle. We had sort of solved it last stream, but uh, we had tried all sorts of things. I eventually gave up and uh, I went over the water and uh, checked which water we had already tried. And we had tried everything except the water in the pool. So um, that was basically the only option I could think of. I'm glad it worked because otherwise we would basically be out of ideas. It shows the trajectory of a meteorite impacting Earth. Okay. Insert time. So this is what the time is for. We've been uh, carrying that time around forever. So we can use the time to control this. A really powerful telescope. I think it's just one unit. You can't operate these levers or do really anything else. So you can read this chart and possibly pick it up. No. I 
can't open it, we can't pick it up, we can't push it or pull it. So I assume we can use this control panel. So there's a decent chance we only get one chance of that as well. Oh, where's the time? There it is. Use time. In control panel, that doesn't seem to work. Ah, there's a coin slot as well. Use coin slot with time. Okay, we can see the tree. Sound effects are a little bit low. Let's tune them up so we can hear them better. What do we see now? Okay, we see the corner of the house. This is as far right as it goes. Okay. We only have one go at this. We have one go at this, so... What do we see if we push it left? Okay. But we can't do this again. Okay. How about if we push it? Okay. We can only push it once. At least right now. Hey there, welcome in. Welcome in 48k RAM. Hope you're having a nice day. We've made some progress. I uh, went over the watts. Uh, and uh, I noticed that we hadn't used the water from the pool. And of course, the pool has the nuclear rods in it. So the water in the pool is radioactive. I uh, should have thought of that, but I didn't. So uh, I solved the puzzle with the plant. You need to feed it the water from the uh, from the pool, which is radioactive, which makes it grow to like twice the size as it does when you feed it the regular one. And uh, then you make uh, need to uh, then you need to feed it the Pepsi, so it stops uh, fidgeting around. And then you can use it to climb. So that's one puzzle solved. And hey there, Aldrich as well. Welcome in. Hey there, Mr. Cola. Welcome in as well. Hope you're well. So we've solved the weird puzzle with uh, with a plant and I made it up here. The yeah, I'm decent. We're decently well here. 
Ja, six year old has started school, it's a bit of a, a bit of an adjustment period for him. He uh, he doesn't respond well to change and uh, he's been difficult. I took him I took him blueberry picking this weekend. Yeah, it does really look rather spiffy. With the nice smoked glass window. And uh it looks particularly nice after I stuffed it full of these uh, five and a quarter to three and a five inch adapters with the with the plastic on the outside so it uh, it all looks feeding all the there's a lot of five and a quarter inch base that actually have three and a half inch drives in them so uh, it looks pretty nice I'm pretty happy with it So I took him blueberry picking this weekend and I uh, had to take his uh, slightly younger four-year-old brother with me as well. Uh, he's slightly more tuned, but uh, he's going to he's going to be a little bit difficult while he adjusts to this. That's just the way it is. But how does this help us here is really the question. So we can use this telescope and... Uh, we were able to use the time in the coin slot and we were able to rotate the telescope either right or left but of course we have only one time so we can only really do that once is this where the arcade machines come in so I do have the key for the arcade machines, but uh, they never work, so there are no times in the... Yeah, that sounds absolutely fantastic, Mr. Cola. You could uh, definitely do with a break. Yeah, that's, uh, that also sounds good. By all means, enjoy that as much as you can. I miss traveling, I really do. I was uh, used to uh, going to at least one conference every year, and uh, at least for a week, and uh, being on my own and uh, attending breakouts and uh, doing th fun stuff. Outside of the uh, normality of the usual schedule, I really miss it. Yeah, that sounds great. At some point, uh, I want to, uh, I want to get to go to Amy West, and I want to go to the uh, to the world of Commodore as well, or what's really left of it. Now, there's absolutely. Nothing in these, I believe. So how could we possibly get... How could we possibly get more coins? Hey there, Amiga Live. Welcome in. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've uh, done a little bit of, of, uh, of a work on the... Yeah, I, uh, I installed this extension that allows you to uh, take a random clip and automatically shout out people when they raid or when they're shouted out by the shoutout command. And uh, welcome in. Nice to see you here. Thanks again for the raid. So there's absolutely nothing in any of these coin boxes. They're all empty. Yeah, 
Hey, you could look it up. It's a it's a guy called the Twitch uh, guru. Laughs. Yeah. Maybe I should host the show. Okay, all right. Thanks for the host, Mr. Cola. I noticed that the alerts are slightly off center here. Let me move them just a little bit to this side. There we go. Lurk away, Mr. Kola. And thanks for the thanks for the good luck. Uh, we're gonna need it. I'm definitely going to need it. We've moved on far enough that uh, there are there are many difficult puzzles at the moment, none of which are have an obvious solution. Yeah, thanks again for the raid. You enjoy your lurk. I was sort of hoping we would uh, find something up that hatch that we could potentially use down here. Let's take a slightly better look around. We can't move it. It doesn't open. Can't push or pull the coin slot. Okay, for the AK RAM. Thanks for stopping by. Go and fix some arcade stuff. Okay, so it doesn't open. You can't push or pull the coin slot. Thanks, man. I'll try my best with this game. Not in the left button. I want to use it in the control panel. If we can only move it once, I'm going to assume that's basically the correct place to put it. But there's a big but. How does that help us in any way? Pretty sure we can't help him at all with his depression or starting up his band at this point.
Now, uh, just to go over the puzzles that we have, uh, we can use this radio uh, once we put the correct tube in it to call the number that's on this poster for uh, capturing the slimy meteor. That number is uh, 91111, so it's 911 with an extra one at the end. Uh, that we can do, but um, they can't arrest the, uh, the mad scientist unless they can actually get into his lab. And uh, we've managed to open the outer padlock, but uh, there is an inner key lock that requires a, a four number combination that uh, we're not able to open yet, so we can't just have him arrested. That's one unsolved puzzle. Then we have no idea how to open this file drawer here. We have lots of keys, but none that actually fit here. And uh, I'm assuming there's something in this drawer that we need at some point. It does say they're locked. Can't push or pull them. Now, uh, we also have this tray that uh, we've been able to fill with developer fluid. That we found downstairs and uh, we have this undeveloped film containing uh, some plants that uh, the, uh, the kid of the household made of uh, of how to conquer his mad scientist father and, uh, he's waiting for us to develop the plants so we can give it to him but uh, we don't know how we try to use the tray with the undeveloped film he just says he doesn't know how to do it there is an enlarger here uh, we don't know how to use it And uh, I'm sort of hoping that uh, there are some instructions of how to do this in this drawer. None of the three kids that we can manage actually know how to use it, so that doesn't help us at all. So that's one unsolved puzzle. And there are certainly more of them. Then there's this weird arcade room. There are all of these arcade boxes here. And uh, none of them are actually powered on. There's no power to this room, so we can't play any of these games. We have the keys to open them up. Uh, no way to play them. And there's this medical cabinet here. We don't have any key to open that either. Then to make it, I don't think there's actually anything in this room that we haven't s solved yet. So, the rest of the puzzles are below. There's the old fashioned radio that we stole the two from. We've already uh, broken this chandelier and uh, found one of the keys that was hiding in it. Uh, we can't get up here because the uh, 
Apparently the staircase is uh, out of order. However, I can be... Uh, we can use this phone to uh, prank call the uh, lady of the household to distract her so we can get to the room that's... Uh, that's above her room. We figured out how to do that last stream. Found the number we can call. Now, the microwave we've been able to use, uh, we can use it to heat water in it. Although it isn't obvious to me exactly how that helps us already emptied the refrigerator there is also this huge dining room table here goes on forever very little in the way of things to interact with it this is the uh, these are the remains of the bottle of the copier fluid that we managed to salvage then there's the pool which contains the radioactive water we can empty the pool if we want but uh, we've taken everything from the bottom of the pool that he wants to take and uh, here's the garage we've emptied the the Edso there was a toolbox in there and the trunk that we used to fix the phone in the study or the library so I believe we've mostly completed this bit for now at least And of course there's the outside, we've been through the grating and into the basement. And this is where the, uh, the grate in the room above that had the copy of fluid, and this is where it leaked down and uh, we were able to pick it up with a sponge and uh, take it to the copier tray. This is one of our, uh, one of the kids, that's uh, Wendy. Stuck her here next to the next to the water valve, which we can use to empty the pool for a while at least. Because if we do it for too long, the the, uh, the nuclear rods that are being cooled by the pool they uh, they overheat and the whole place goes up in an atomic explosion. So uh, we can do this for a bit. And of course there's the mailbox here and uh, Wendy is an aspiring writer, she has this manuscript and uh, these stamps but um, she can't make the stamps stick to the manuscript. So that's one of the unsolved puzzles. I've been trying to think of things that I could potentially use with the stamps, get them to stick to the manuscript so I can send it for publication. There's a gravy stain here on the on the tablecloth. But, uh, can't really use it for much of anything. I doubt we can uh, I 
of the news the stumps of the grate that doesn't make any sense And of course we have this modified rocket engine in the Atzel and uh, we can't use that either. We have basically have two items that I'm fairly sure we're never going to be able to use. One of them is the chainsaw and the other one is the rocket engine in the car. We're gonna need gas for both of them and I'm fairly sure based on Zach McCracken that uh, we found a canister of gas on Mars when we were playing through Zach McCracken. And, uh, the only description we got at the time was uh, it's needed in a different game. I didn't get that joke now, but I do uh, at this point because uh, we need the gas in this game. We found it in Zach McCracken, of course we can't just move it between games, so it's a running joke between the two different games. I'm fairly sure you're never going to be able to find any gas in this game. that uh, Bernard is standing here next to the charcoal is uh, you need to push the charcoal to to uh, open the door to the basement and that's why I have him placed there and uh, he can't really leave the charcoal either he needs to be there and uh, it needs to be held in to keep the door open. I'm wondering what happens if we... I suppose we could try putting the stamp in the developer fluid. I think I already tried it, but uh, of course we can try it again. Nope, that doesn't change anything. Wondering if we could uh, make our good friend the, the tentacle lick the stamp for us. No, I'm not able to do that.
Okay. One of the things we discovered last stream was uh, this little puzzle here. We uh, we found this uh, water faucet in the uh, garage where the car is. And, uh, there was a tiny pixel here on this pipe with a water valve. And uh, once we fitted the faucet to the to the pipe, we were able to turn this. Uh, Water faucet on, and uh, when we do that, the, the mummy moves, and uh, we can see the number behind him. And, uh, we can read the text that says for a good time, Etna 7537. That's the number we can use to call the lady of the house uh, to distract her while we go upstairs. Uh, we had already been there without actually. Uh, solving this little puzzle and it was uh, it was fun solving it but i didn't really get us any closer Okay, now Bernard is slightly different because uh, he has a skill that the other kills kids don't. He uh, he can fix things with the tools. Uh, once we were able to find the tools at the in the back of the trunk of the car, we were actually able to at least do things like fix the phone in the library. Can't fix this air hockey game though. I think is we need a lens. So maybe the telescope is the answer to that little puzzle. Because the, in the attic room above the lady of the house's room, there is a safe and uh, the key code for the safe is scribbled on the wall, but it's so small we can't read it. It occurs to me that we might be able to take the lens from the telescope and use it to read it. Maybe we can somehow K 
get to the lens. Maybe that was the whole point of the exercise, actually. Where was the first save? Was here. And we saved again after getting the, the water from the, from the pool. Uh, helps in this game to save often where does the telescope point at exactly this moment in time it points to this tree There's nothing we can do about that. Okay. It doesn't matter which kit we use or what here, let's get Dave up here to the telescope room. Uh, let's get Bernard into the library. We can use him to prank call the lady of the house to distract her a little bit. Yeah, we know Bernard that the staircase is out of order. And then we can take Wendy upstairs. to the old lady's bedroom and uh, take her up to the room with a save oh, save before we attempt this because it's uh, it's timing sensitive you need to get it done we'll use this uh, J save here now we switch to Bernard. Hey there, parking bin. Welcome in. Now I should find the number again. Morning, he says. Seven five three three seven is the number to dial. So Bernard. Time to use the phone. Hello, is this you again? Yes, it is. Let's use the opportunity while she's distracted. Run through the room. Climb the ladder. And here's the safe. There's the scrolled number. I have no idea. There are uh, so many puzzles that we have left to solve that I'm going to assume that uh, we're a bit away still. 
we inch closer every stream but uh i can't say that it's fast progress i want to save again here so basically in position now and we only have the one time use the letters now let us not do that so now instead of instead of moving to mars let's uh, push it right we're so close to being able to so close to being able to see through a window but uh so close is no closer than what we are right now how do we no it's not rotating because we need another coin I have not so uh that's somewhere down the line we're going to play that as well so what is it here do we actually need another coin to be able to use this Is this the window where the where the telescope is uh, peering in? What happens if we turn off this light? Can't really tell, can we? Where's the light again? It's here somewhere. doesn't make any sense i doubt any of this works we just have the single coin we have no idea how to get another mm. one but, uh, we don't really have anything like a piece of rope or something that we could potentially tie to the coin pull it back We can move the telescope in the other direction. I might do it for fun, but uh, probably not on stream.
So I can only move it one position and uh, I'm fairly sure that we need to move it more than one position. I find it relatively likely that we're supposed to use the telescope to uh, see the number on the wall that uh, seems like a logical solution to that particular puzzle and, uh, how would we do that There is a set of breakers down in the basement. We've uh, we've attempted to we've attempted to uh, cut out the breakers and uh, fiddle with them. There's only really one setting, and it doesn't change the arcade machines, which seem to be powered off for some reason. wondering if there's something else we're supposed to do with the green tentacle one of very few things we can actually interact with in the game we can give him some demo tapes he listens to them but I'm fairly sure that the uh, all of these things that we can give to him are things that uh, don't actually need in the game. Other things we can potentially use, we can't give to him. Oh, it's just a way to unclog the inventory, really. Yeah, we've already solved many puzzles that are quite complicated. So this is definitely not a sing simple game. That's for sure. Now one thing is for certain There's a picky pack in his room And uh There's a picky pack mm -hmm. in his room
So potentially we could break the piggy bank and uh, get some more coins. Uh, that requires us to get him out of the room somehow. Probably requires us to actually develop those plans. That was weird. Why did she lock him up? Was he standing in the hallway? Yeah, it might have been. Doesn't really matter. I think he already has the key for this door. This is basically the dungeon. The, it has an outer and inner door to the... Uh, to the lab we've already opened up the outer one so we have no idea what the combination is for the inner one it says the sign there says secret lab i wonder if i know him yeah I think we have the key to this door. It's not the small one, it's the silver one, I think. Or old rusty one. Yeah. So this is the basement. It has this fuse box and uh, a bunch of circuit breakers. You can only either turn them all off or all on. There's no way to individually remove individual breakers. So that's not an option. There's a furnace and uh, here's the nuclear reactor. And uh, I found no way of interacting with any of this. And, uh, if you go up these stairs, you come up in the main hallway here. If you want to go down again, you need to uh, push the gargoyle there. So in order of execution, we probably... Do need to solve the puzzle of the of developing the film before we actually He needs the film. Potentially he needs the sponge. Don't think he really needs anything else. Problem is, he doesn't know how to do this either. He's really would have been our best bet. I 
And uh, I was also for a moment there hoping we could actually use uh, the uh, lens from the enlarger to look at the numbers for the save. But uh, now we found a telescope, I'm fairly certain that's what we are supposed to use. Then we need more coins, and to get at the coins, we need to somehow distract the kid. How do we do that? I uh, distract him or actually develop the plants, and uh, to develop the plants, we probably need a key to open something. I have no idea where that key might be. Sort of wondering if it uh if the order Definitely, at least I won't put the time in the telescope until I know for certain what I'm supposed to do with it. Uh, good chance I'll never get another time. Sort of wondering whether... Whether it's possible that... I'm supposed to send Bernard upstairs to use the telescope instead of Dave. Whether that matters, who, who goes up there? It probably doesn't, but uh, it's worth a shot. I don't think it does, and I think we already tried it anyway. Good save before we put the time in. Now we can. Are we supposed to look at the telescope while it's rotating? Is that it? So if we push the button... Just gives us the same image. And then, of course, we can't move it either backwards or forwards. Which one was which here?
This is feels so annoying. It feels like we're so close to a major breakthrough, but uh, we're missing some little bit of the puzzle. Hey there, Will. Welcome in. We solved the puzzle with the plant. Discovered a telescope that uh, might allow us to read the number for the combination of the safe. Found that we need at least two times to be able to operate the telescope. It did involve the Pepsi. What we needed to do was... Uh, we needed to take the water from the uh, swimming pool that was used to cool the nuclear rods, which was radioactive, and uh, feed it to the plant. That made the plant grow double in size. And uh, after it did that, we needed to feed it the Pepsi to stop it fidgeting around, and then we were able to climb the plant up the hatch to find the telescope. Um, that's one puzzle solved. And, uh, that just left us with another one. Which is how do we get more times so we can operate the telescope. We only have the one. The... Potential places where we could possibly find one. Yeah, I am. That's really the way to play these games. 
half the fun is uh, being stuck and struggling. What I did off stream was uh, what I often do when I'm playing these games is I uh, skim through the bot and uh, watch what I've done already and uh, so I don't need to repeat it. But I noticed that I had tried giving the plant every possible source of water in the building uh, except the water from the pool. So that was the first thing I tried tonight. Of course, that was the thing that worked. He had basically tried every other combination. Uh, I did receive some hints last stream, though, because we were completely, completely stuck. Uh, if I've been struggling for a long time, <clears throat> I do ask for a hint. Or at least an answer to a question like I did last stream, which was basically, am I, uh, am I soft locked in this position? Is there something that I've done which makes it impossible for me to complete the game? Because uh, if that is the case, then it's absolutely useless to continue. Okay, now oh, one of the very few ways that we could potentially get some more times is uh, by stealing the piggy bank. Ah, so he only really lets us in if we are the person that gave him the package. So Wendy is the only one that can actually come into the room. sort of wondering whether we could uh let's assume that uh let's assume that we have Wendy do something which uh, makes him angry and uh, takes her down to the dungeon like father like son in that case can we then sneak into his room and take some of the stuff that's there so if we let's save this it's time sensitive like many other things in this game let's try that we switch to Wendy now. If I pick up the piggy bank, he will get a uh, it's nailed and glued to the table. She broke it. He doesn't seem to mind at all. He doesn't notice why. Why doesn't he notice? Is it because we solved the other puzzle? Because uh, I think I'm fairly sure I already solved this or tried doing this and uh, he got very angry and uh, took us to the dungeon. But perhaps at this point we're able to do this. Now we have lots of more times. 
kid's going to get angry we stole his times from the piggy bank but i could care less let's go up to the hatch now we have lots more times we have four times instead of the single one that we had so we have way more options with the telescope So if we push it, push it right now, just to uh, show those that are just recently in here. Now we can just see the corner of the house, which isn't really useful. What we want to see is the combination to the safe in the attic room above Edna's bedroom. So potentially then we need to push it. Further to the right, one zero two nine. I'm almost certain that's the number we need. So, what we do now is we send Bernard into the library. We sent Wendy in here. So I need to double check the number we need Bernard to call. This was an old puzzle that took me ages to figure out. There is a tiny pixel here that allows you to fit the water faucet that we found in the garage to this pipe turn on the shower and make the mummy move so we can see the number the number is 7537 just making sure about the other number again 1029 okay we'll have Wendy stand outside the bedroom while Bernard dials the hotline 7537 now we'll switch back to Wendy and then we'll go pick up the phone and I will distract her for a second so we can go in here Climb the ladder up. And open the safe. One zero two nine. Yeah. Sealed envelope. Yeah, that's progress. The most progress we've had in a bit. There was a quarter inside of the envelope. And, uh, here's another piece of stamps. wondering if this requires more care so 
This is not the right save either. I think. I suppose we can redo this. Won't take us that long. To be extra careful here not to to do anything that we can't recover from. We do need to mail out this manuscript, so we need that envelope. Perhaps it's possible to open it without damaging it up and ruining the stamps. Uh, in fact, we don't actually need to move the telescope at all because we already know the combination to the safe. I wonder if we can actually access it without doing any of that. I suppose it's possible. wonder if that actually works probably shouldn't work but uh, it might anyway fun fact i once had a letter to santa sent by some little girl she was very resourceful she drew cut and glued envelope by herself and she zeroed the, zeroed the stamp also cut it out glued it I never knew little girls were capable of postage fraud, yeah. And, uh, the answer to that question is yes, we are actually able to do that. This is the point where we should probably save. It's a blank, it's a blank envelope. But it's not completely blank because there is a quarter in it. It's closed, okay. Have... Bernard, make another call so we can actually get out of here. Switch back to when he go down the hatch. Try to sneak out of here. I'm just going to make it. Go, 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 go. Yeah. What I'm wondering now is if we can use the use the hot water to open up the envelope without damaging it. That's all I can think we could possibly do. We already know we can sort of do that. We need Dave. So get down here. Has all the other ingredients.
you can't see those stamps you're not supposed to be able to do that but uh i suppose you could try okay if we now use the glass jar with the faucet which we need to actually turn on first and then turn it off open the microwave put the jar of water in it and uh, heat it up and open up the microwave again we're gonna need Wendy to give us the the envelope and we're going to need a jar of water The idea is correct, at least. Or at least I would assume it is. You put the jar of water in the microwave with the envelope. Is it now open? Can we now open it without damaging it? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Edna, I'm having trouble with the Sumpy Medic. I need to shut down the power. Oh, it'll be off for five or six minutes. Is this all you have to say to me? You've been in the basement for the past five years. Sometimes I think you like that media more than me. Don't worry, my little beauty queen. Soon everything will be different. Sure. Okay, whatever gave you the idea that he's more interested in the meteor. Five years is uh, not a long time to be in the basement. Okay. Let's give Dave the quarter and go put our stamped memoirs. Yeah, I remember those games, and uh, me and my niece used to make a make a newspaper using uh, glued on uh, various pieces of uh, photos, and uh, then we made our own text around them. Fun games, really. Let's 
no address on it. Okay, so do we now go up and uh, watch that silly TV show about the guys that will publish anything? Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Three guys who publish anything. Hi, all you putting writers, musicians and game designers. Send two 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 skyscraper away. I'm Mark Eater. My company will publish anything. Just mail it to the address shown below. Don't forget the stamp. Stamp we have. But 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 but. Oops. No. There's yet another piece of this at least 50 piece puzzle to get this envelope out. We somehow need to get something that we can use to write the address on the envelope. So we need a pen. We have the masterpiece written. We've managed to put it into the envelope without breaking it. We've managed to put the stamp on. He still can't send it out. Because we don't have a pen. It's okay. We also have another piece that uh, is new. We have a quarter. Ah, yes, he told us he was going to take the power out. question is are we supposed to be able to take advantage of this somehow is there something that we can do while the power is off that we perhaps cannot do while it's on The only thing I could possibly think of is the furnace downstairs in the basement. That we need Bernard get here. the door mm. 
Where's the door? Here's the door. There's the ways the car coil is here. Switch to Dave. Go down to the basement. Where's the door again? Over here. Yeah, here it is. There's the nuclear reactor and there's the furnace. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Not a lot of gain in doing so. <laughs> Still too hot. There's the door. If we open this fuse box now. can't actually we turn off the breakers now the electricity will not return when he puts it back in what will that do This is still too hot. I'm trying to think if a... Uh, we've uh, tried sneaking around the house with the power off. That doesn't really... Uh, we can't sneak anywhere. Doesn't really work like that at all. You can't just uh, can't sneak into places that you otherwise wouldn't be able to go into. The, it occurs to me that it's possible that the, the door is open. That might be. Let's uh, maybe the door to the lab is actually open. would actually be pretty interesting the old rusty key that we use with this door and the light is on in here so the power isn't out in here so we can't just walk into this door that was at least a thought so that's not the case Uh, there's nothing that changes with the arcades at all. The light is on in the development room. These are still locked though. Okay, power is back. I feel as though we need to uh, keep that safe around in case there actually was something I was supposed to do during that time. But uh, we could also just uh, mm. very quickly.
go through the other places. I already tried the uh, basement and the door there. The we sort of tried the development room. I suppose we could try it again since the power actually came on. It's still locked. Powers off, yeah. Makes sense. One potential thing we could do. Is a... Uh, can sort of navigate like this it's uh he can't fix it with his bare hands Okay, so that's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. Supposed to use the time while the mm. electricity is cut out. To fix the broken wires up there in the attic. Maybe that's why the arcade is not working. That's the clock, the staircase is somewhere up there, yeah, there it is. Bumbling around in the dark, volume 2. It's a good thing we've been through this house multiple times and uh, we know pretty much the path that we're supposed to take. We wanted around here enough that uh, we know our way. We don't really need light on. There's the plant. And the attic room is here. We'll use the tools. It's kind of dark, but I think I fixed it. Okay. Where is Dave, by the way? was here he yeah he was in the kitchen that's right I suppose we could have taken the flashlight upstairs Probably won't make it up there before the power comes back on. I already, uh, I already tried 
taking the circuit breakers in the basement off to try to repair these wires and uh, that didn't work because the power was still on with them so the same idea but the uh, game is offering us an opportunity to do this and we just sort of need to figure out what it is that we need to do during this time I'm fairly sure that's it Although there might be other things we're supposed to do as well. Which we will then find out later. Where are the batteries? Not here. We actually have two pairs of batteries. We have the batteries that were originally there. I'm not in the right room. And we have the pair of batteries from the portable radio that we found at the pool as well. Walked into the wrong room. This is the right room. Where is it? Here it is. You can, here are the batteries on the other one. Yeah, that looks fixed. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Move Bernard. Turn off lit flashlight. Give flashlight to Bernard. New kit, Bernard. Turn on flashlight. Use tools on wires. There. Okay. So we needed the flashlight. And the wires are fixed. So does that. Pretty sure that's actual progress. Does that then mean that we can use the arcade machines downstairs? Potentially it does. We already have the quarter it was in the envelope. Which we would have needed and we can get the quarter back because we already have the key for the arcade machine. I'm not sure how it solves anything but uh, any progress is good. Pretty boring, he says. Use small key in coin box. Pick up coin box. Here we get our quarter back. Close the coin box. Use the quarter in the disco crazy machine. Pretty boring. Use a small key in coin box. Pick up coin box. Close coin box. Use quarter in alien slime. That sounds fun. Pretty boring. Open. Use small key in coin box. Pick up. Coin box, close, coin box, use, quarter, in, buy, enemy, die. Me 
tier mess. That sounds very likely, doesn't it? Are these the combinations? Are these the combinations that we need for the lock? Let's get our quarterback. Grab a picture of the high scores. Yeah, coin on a string would be much easier. That's what I was thinking with a telescope earlier, but uh, we had no string, obviously. We'll try the last machine as well. Might as well. We've tried every every other one of them. This is the kill thrill. Get our quarterback. Let's close all of these boxes. Save. We have three numbers. That's actually relatively interesting. Get down here, Bernard. Twenty closer. Yeah, she is. So usual to push the gargoyle. We need to get downstairs. It is possible that these numbers have absolutely nothing to do with the combination to the lock. But, uh, using the and getting the arcade fixed because the yeah these are some of these puzzles are pretty cryptic it, it's very possible that, uh, that now we're just supposed to wait for him to play the game and uh, wait for some cutscene to happen sometimes that's uh it's just a question of uh, making the game move on. The game is waiting for some event to happen to actually move on. So. Okay, there were three numbers there. The first one was 32. The second one was 1594 and the third one was 3300. What I'm going to do now is uh, try them in the reverse order. And no, that's not it. Okay. Perhaps too simple of a solution to be plausible, but uh, worth a shot anyway. Let's 
So the good doctor is playing the meteor game. Let's go up there again. Potentially there's another quarter in the machine at least. Let's hope he isn't still here. It's not. Now we play it again. Fifty-eight, fifty-eight. It's a new number, five eight, five eight. The others are the same as they were. So he obviously battered his score. I think it's worth a shot to try that number as well. A meteor has control of your computer, he won't let you save the game. Fine. What are you doing here? I caught you sneaking around our house. Dr. Fred isn't paying me for nothing. Yeah, yeah, to the dungeon. That doesn't really matter, because... Uh, That doesn't really matter because of... Uh, we have all of the keys that we need. So what we need to do now is... Uh, We need to head into the radio room. Use the radio tube in the tube socket. Read the wanted poster. And call for help. Let me This is the media police. Uh-huh. You found the murderous purple meteor. I'll be there in five minutes. Oh, make sure the lab is unlocked. As for you, keep it under light speed. Now all we have to do is wait. Wait for them to arrive. 
don't really need to be here. We just need to be absolutely sure that the door is open. In the meantime, let's uh, try to think what we could possibly use to write the address on the envelope so we can send it out. Maybe it requires us to go up this staircase, which for some odd reason, out of order. There's that jar, we left it in the, in the microwave oven, let's uh, take it. Disney, really? Yeah, through LucasArts, yeah, makes sense. Of course. These large corporations, they own a ton of stuff these days. It's just a, a very short list of companies that uh, control a lot of things. No, they won't. That's for sure. We have nothing better to do than just wander around while we wait for the uh, wait for the intergalactic police force to get here. Help us out a little bit. Fairly sure that's not the end of the game though. It's probably just a stepping stone. There are quite a few puzzles left. Uh, perhaps we don't need to solve all of them. Of course there are... Uh, which I find fascinating. There are multiple characters that you can use to play this game. You always just pick three kids and there is a there are there's a great deal of different choices. So I'm going to assume there are many different ways of solving the game. Some puzzles are probably always the same, but uh, the others depend on who you use to play the game. Uh, given when this game was released and the uh, no, I didn't because I can't put the address on them. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the envelope. The uh, It's sealed and uh, in working condition I managed to put the stamp on it. But uh, the address isn't on it so I can't send it. I'm missing something to write the address on the envelope. Don't bug me, sucker face. And 
the side. So it's you, slimy purple meteor. Oh no, you found me. You're coming with me, crater head. <laughs> okay, that's one problem solved. Quite a few to go. So what happens now? Let's save anyway. Good progress. Let's go back to his room. And get the times. We never did complete that particular bit in this save. Just in case that doesn't work out. Let's uh, save right here so we don't have to repeat this again. Pick up these times, get out of here. Hey there, one man, Kaka, welcome in. So, okay, we have three of the times here. Let's just use a middle save here. We've already just wondering if there is more to this puzzle and meets the eye. He figured out that uh He figured out how we were supposed to get the number to the safe. That turned out to be one zero two five. My name is actually Sigurbjörn, it's both, both of the names combined. Sigur is not really a name, it's a more of a prefix. Sigar is a name, which is uh, pretty much my name. The, the old Norse variation of it. And uh, Björn is the later part. So. Warrior, bear, really, if you want to translate the what is probably the original meaning. Before we continue with this. We have four times, so we can push the telescope, four steps in each direction. So let's start. And let's start by... You know, for a fact that the one to the right is really nothing, it just shows us the... Great. No, that doesn't really help us. No, they're not really easy to pick up. It's uh, easier for German speakers to pick up Icelandic. It's probably the easiest of the 
of the foreign speakers there uh, they have a similarly strict pronunciation of many of the vowels and uh, the grammar is also slightly similar so it's relatively easy for them to pick up Icelandic and uh, it's relatively easy for us to pick up German it's not uh, it requires years of study but uh, it's not quite as hard as uh, say going from English to Icelandic which is quite tough Um, we think it is out already. This is the compilation to the save. It is 1029. We've already opened that up, so no further help to be gained from there. If we use the third time and push it again. Okay, that's as far as it goes in this direction. Okay. Then there's the question of the other direction. Yeah, there was a little bit of a... It might have been the occasional pillaging. I assure you, we were merely burrowing things though. Okay, so you can only really go one. You can only really go one to the left. And it clicks. Then I can go... Two to the right. Yeah. A friendly neighborhood neighbor visit. Came over for, for uh, tea and biscuits. Okay, now we've uh, moved it to all the possible positions that it could be in. And, uh, it holds no further secret. At least it doesn't appear to do so. There's still plenty of unsolved things here. Like for example, what happens if we enter the room now? Oh, he's perfectly fine still. Can we take this pennant? No. Not supposed to touch the hamster. Okay. Did you one man conquer? That's uh Agnetha, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Hagar the Horrible is basically the uh, the comic version of uh, those pillaging trips. Okay, if I uh, return back to the original plan I had before we successfully managed to just break the piggy bank and steal the dimes which I did not mm. expect that came as a surprise mm. because I'm fairly sure I tried it earlier in the game and it did not work the same ah I forgot we can't send him in here yeah they uh, recorded uh, those holograms I'm very curious how this turns out uh, I saw a sort of a making of where they were preparing all of these holograms I'm very curious about this. I'm almost tempted to go see this show. I uh, listened to Appa from, from the point I was basically just a, a two-year-old. So, uh, I do like the music. I think it's a bit of a gimmick, but I'm also very curious how it actually works. I'm wondering if I... Uh, If I pick up the, uh, if I pick up the hamster, it doesn't give me the option of, okay, it doesn't actually give me the option. I can't switch kids, so that's out of the question. I can't, I can't send someone else in. I definitely can't send him, him in. That was dumb. Okay. So that's... That's not an option. L F L U R A. Okay, let's assume that we're basically done with this room and there is nothing else we can do. I think we're also done with this bit. Because we've opened the safe, we've removed uh, the envelope, we've fixed this radio, we've taken the key in the room above. So that's pretty much done as well. We've uh, solved the telescope, done all we can do there. Uh, this we definitely have not finished. We haven't mailed the manuscript. We haven't found the key to the medical cabinet.
So what's our next step here? We'll get Wendy downstairs as well. We still don't have the key to the, uh, to the cabinet in the development room. So we can't access that cabinet. We still don't have the key to the medicine cabinet. We can't access that either. Still can't develop the film. We've uh, sort of handicapped them down there. Yeah, that will be good. There are worse things to have than a quantum computer than ABBA. Some pretty lovely songs they wrote. Mm. I listened mm. to the uh, new songs. Mm. They're, uh, they're okay. Hey there, long shanks. Welcome in. What's this on the floor? It's a patch. That definitely was not there before. Meteor police, patch number 714. Interesting. Can't save when we're in here, right? Yeah, we can't. So let's save on the outside of this room. With the media police. Dr. Fred made me do it. He forced me to go along with his plan. It's all his fault. I'm innocent. Yeah, right. He's right in there. What? Uh, get him. Arrest him. Kill him. He's mad. I'll help you. I'm your friend. You can trust me. No, we can't trust you. Where's the damn? That's for sure, but, uh, that's how we're supposed to gain entrance. It's a map of the house. Some sort of weird control panel as well. Yeah, he was a, he was a walkover. I see a heart-shaped bed. Yeah, that makes sense. So, okay, this control panel obviously somehow controls what we see with the periscope. The Can't use it in any way, it seems. But 
purple tentacle invaders. Purple tentacle. Yeah, he's not coming to help you, you madman. You've gotten past all my safeguards. I'm sorry, this must be very loud. I'll uh, turn it down a bit. He's arming the self destruct mechanism. Stay still. Hey there, Texas footballer. Of course, it's locked. Some sort of combination possibly here that we could use to turn this off, but uh, how? How could we possibly do that? Obviously we're gonna blow up here. Us. How's and everyone within a five mile radius? Have been destroyed in a massive nuclear meltdown. Okay. This bit is easy enough. We found the patch laying on the floor. We give the patch the purple tentacle. He realizes or thinks we're with the meteor police. He squeals on his boss immediately and then just runs out of here. So much for bravery.
Now we can save out here. But uh, we cannot save once we go in there. So. Yeah, I'm doing decently well. I hope you're well. Yeah, and happy Star Trek Day. Now we can use this periscope. And uh, I can't work out how to use this control panel. I'm not even sure we're supposed to be able to do so. It's a dedicated day every year. Where there's Star Trek day and that happens to be today. We get two minutes. Oh, one obvious thing is uh, we can use the it Okay, we have the radiation suit. Are we supposed to... We can't get out of here. Can't switch to the other kids. So even if we do have the suit. We're still not able to really do anything, okay. We can't load them, we can't save. Yeah, some of the old Star Trek, Star Trek games are very good, actually made decently good games there for a while at least. It's not complete crap as you would sort of expect it to be. Okay. We can definitely make it to this part. Uh, we're missing something else. I'm not quite ready for this. But okay, if we turn off the breakers at this point. use the 
the key to open the door again. Does that actually do something? Not sure it does. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't really help us at all. I did get a little bit of help with Zack, got a few clues or hints. And, uh, I've gotten a little bit of hints with this game as well. Pretty much. I'd say it's near impossible to solve without getting any sort of hint, but uh, can't really do anything with this kind of Pepsi. Not to use it with anything isn't even an option. No, not right now. No, no, we made good progress tonight. Uh, we're obviously lacking a key card for this card slot. That's one thing we're lacking, and uh, can't obviously can't turn off the self-destruct sequence either. No, there's something that we need to do before we get here. We're not ready to go into this room quite yet. At least I don't think we are. If I could switch to the other kids, it might be the thing we really need there is the is the furnace. I'm going to um the one thing that we haven't tried, I tried turning off the breakers. It didn't really do much of anything, but uh turning off the cooling would certainly get his attention so what happens if we do this now now the purple tentacle isn't there to do his uh, dirty work anymore who does he send I 
Katsotaan, että tämä just just blow up. There's no coolant anymore. So, uh, technically, now this place should uh, basically blow up. That doesn't really seem to matter. That doesn't change the progress in any way. I find this Pepsi machine fascinating. Yeah, it's impossible to get closer because he's pacing like this. goes the house again sort of annoying that you can't even escape out of this sequence so as soon as you go in there you need to have a battle plan I'm 
and uh, we have the badge. That's a new object. Let's go show the patch to some other people as well, see if that helps us in any way. The purple tentacle has already run away, so... Uh, not much help from him unless he's actually somewhere around the house. doesn't even allow me to do this but uh perhaps if i do this as wendy instead that might work better where is wendy by the way did we leave her at the the water valve no she's right here Give the badge to Wendy. Have her take it up. Where's the badge? <laughs> didn't I just give her the badge? Apparently I didn't. doesn't actually give the badge to Wendy. Okay. So he's the only one that can use the badge. That's less than great. That doesn't help at all. And what does this?
Sort of wondering if it matters who picks up the badge. Turn it is up here. So I have him walk downstairs. Doesn't actually give him the patch either. Although it was definitely Bernard that actually called the intergalactic police, so it has nothing to do with that and everything to do with uh, who picked it up from the floor, it seems. It seems to be the only thing that actually matters. Send Bernard in here into that other room and see if we um, are supposed to be able to use this control panel as some other member. I doubt it. Yeah, so the per we know exactly where the periscope is uh, aimed. It's aimed at the at Edna's bedroom. We've been in, th in there more times than I care to think about. Uh, you were in there earlier as well. There's no new proceeding in that particular room. Victory seems so close, but yet so far away.
Where has the purple tentacle gone? It doesn't seem to be anywhere in the house. Yeah, it's a great game. It's absolutely fantastic. We've spent so much time on it. It's absolutely great. The, the puzzles are so uh, are deep and uh, they have multiple levels to them. This one in particular, I laughed my ass off when we finally solved this one. Turning the shower on and having the mummy move so we could see the number, that was very, very funny. Uh, this intrinsic puzzle with the plant here, you needed to feed it the water from the... From the swimming pool that contained the nuclear rods, which is of course slightly radioactive, and then you needed to give it a can of Pepsi to uh, make it stop fidgeting, so you could basically use it to climb up there. But this game is also hard, it's very hard, these puzzles are quite difficult. Oh, it's a... Uh it's a very stereotypical look, I would say. It's a more of a of a movie look than anything else. So then, purple tentacle is at least nowhere to be seen. I think we've been to every single room in the game. Oh, I'm sure they do. Where's Dave? He's here. Yeah, there are definitely people like that, but uh, I'm fairly sure they're not in the majority. And just the... Uh, what the stereotype is based on. I'm wondering if the if the meteor game holds any further hints for us. Somewhat doubt that it does, but um No, it's the same five eight five eight. Yeah, there's a decent chance that's the case. At least I can't find him anywhere. Could actually do with a little help right now. From him. We need that. We probably need that key card. We need to find that somewhere. The thing with this game is that uh, 
items do appear in rooms that I haven't been in before so it could technically have been placed somewhere for us to find it that is entirely possible The only place we haven't looked so far is outside as well as down in the basement no same here my only experience with that is from movies different sort of system here nothing here either oops The tentacle has obviously run away, far away, possibly never to be seen again until the day of the tentacle. I think that's possibly the fins that do that. The sweet is perhaps to some degree as well. We don't really hang around in saunas very much. Okay, so we're basically at the end here. I'm going to. I'm gonna have to get out of here to save. Throw uh, a save here. We might, might next stream go back and uh, pick up the a barge as Wendy instead of Dave, in the hope that it does help me with Ed Junior. But uh, that's the only potential thing that I could see going differently. Was a. Uh, can't really see
<coughs> we can uh, we sort of give her stuff, but um, <coughs> but uh, she doesn't want any of this. I think I've tried everything that we have in the inventory, so that doesn't really help. The door is sealed, so... Really do nothing more with that. This is curious, we can get this can of Pepsi. Uh, doesn't really seem to do much of anything for us. Santi at least does not want it, I doubt. I doubt Dr. Fred does either. No. Doubt he cares about the badge either, but uh, let's try it anyway. Yeah. I think that's it for tonight. It's been good fun. We've made a lot of progress actually, but uh, not quite there yet. Something missing. I have a feeling we might complete this game next stream though. Wasn't quite that optimistic. wasn't quite that optimistic going into this earlier so that's that's what it is i think we'll throw tontagosa raid he's playing uh got lateral damage it's a fun little game and tonta is a great streamer so i'll set that up right now Thanks for coming guys. Thank you uh, Harold for the follow and for the sub and Amiga Live for the raid and uh, you guys for being here. Appreciate you, all of you, uh, lurkers, non-lurkers, chatters alike. We'll uh, continue with uh, Betrayal at Contour on Friday at 2200 UTC. Until then guys, you sleep well, have an excellent rest of the night and see you later. Thank you.